Welcome to Coplay guys, I'm Matt. Today I'm going to show you how to apply multiple effects to an audio track in one simple step or macro step in Audacity. To save a little time for this video, I'm not going to go over the specific settings that I use within the effects, so if you're interested in the values that I use, I've posted a video already that covers that in greater detail. And there will be a link for that video in the description. And if this video is helpful to you, please leave it a like or a thumbs up or whatever it's called these days. If you think other people might find this video beneficial, please share it. And if you want me to do other tutorial videos based on things we do for this channel, Channel, please suggest it in the comments or hit us up on our Twitter page at Coplay Official because if these are helpful to you guys I would love to keep making them for you. Also I encourage you to check out our other videos on this channel. Most of them are in my humble opinion awesome let's plays. We put a lot of work into them and we would love it if you showed your support by checking those out and maybe subscribing if you like our content. I suppose now would be a good time to show you guys how to do this macro step. To set up the macro, you don't necessarily need to have recorded anything yet, so you could just simply open up Audacity and set it up. For this video though, I've already recorded a short clip to demonstrate the macro taking effect. Welcome to Coplay guys, I'm Matt, and this is an Audacity tutorial. To set up your macro, or chain as Audacity calls it, you go to File, then down to Edit Chains. Click the Add button down here and name it whatever you want. I'll just name this demo chain macro. Now we have an empty chain that's ready to get programmed to do what we want it to do. I should mention that this chain function will apply the effects in the order that you list them on this page, so it's important to make sure that everything is how you're going to want it. And as I've said in the past, the effects that I use and the order that I apply them are just the way that I think make our audio here on Coplay sound the best. So the first thing I want to do for the chain here is to add the normalize effect. To do that, click insert down here. A select command screen will pop up. This is the screen where you'll find all the effects that we want to apply to our macro. For this instance, we want to find normalize. Just to be certain that the effect is where we want it to be, click edit parameters here and adjust them if you think it's necessary. For the most part though, you won't need to edit or adjust anything if you set things up the way that I demonstrated in my last tutorial video. I just like to be certain that everything is the way it should be before applying it to the chain. When you get your parameters to where you want them, press OK on the select command window. You will see that normalize is now the number one command with the parameters that you set. Now at this point you may be thinking, wait a second Matt, didn't you say the noise reduction is your first step when editing your audio? And the answer to that is yes. The unfortunate thing about the noise reduction effect is that it's a variable effect that is dependent on the sound clip that you recorded. So that effect will have to be applied first to the raw footage before using the macro. And I'll show you how to apply everything once we get this macro finished. The next command for this chain will be the compressor. We'll just click insert again and find the compressor effect. Just as a good habit, I like to make sure the parameters are where they're supposed to be, then press OK. Next is the equalization. So insert, equalization, make sure the parameters are set to your preference or preset, OK, then OK. We want our clip to be normalized again at this point, so insert, normalize, and OK. Now we want to shave off any excessively loud peaks on the recording, so we use the limiter effect. So click insert, limiter, make sure it's where you want it, OK, and OK. Next we normalize it again. And just as personal preference, as I've explained in my last video, I like to run the compressor and normalizer again. And since it doesn't take much more time to do it since it all runs in one macro step, why not, right? So add the compressor and then the normalizer one more time. Now this is all we do for this macro. If you want to add anything, click on the number that you want the new effect to appear under and click insert and do things the same way that we've been doing them. Also, if you made a mistake and put something in the wrong order, simply click on the effect that you want to move and click either the move up or the move down buttons down here. And when everything is the way you want it, press OK. In order to actually apply this chain, I should go without saying that you're going to need some recorded footage. So for the sake of this tutorial video, that's why I have this pre-recorded footage for you. As I've said in my last tutorial video, the quiet portion at the beginning of the audio is intentional because it serves as the noise reduction sample. So before we apply the effect macro, we'll highlight the quiet segment, go to effect, noise reduction, and click get noise profile. Now double click the audio clip in order to highlight all of it. Go back to noise reduction, make sure that the reduction is set to where you want it, and click OK. If we don't do this step first, then the unreduced ambient noise will get boosted along with the rest of the clip, so it's very important to reduce the ambient noise first. If 
Finally, we get to see our nice new macro at work. With the audio clip selected, go up to File, then down to Apply Chain. Make sure that you have the chain that we just made selected and click Apply to Current Project. If you had several audio files that you wanted to apply a specific chain to, then we could use the Apply to Files button, but in this case we're only working with this one. So there should be a progress window that appears where you can see the different effects being applied. Once that completes, your audio clip should be edited exactly the way that you want it to be. Welcome to Coplay guys, I'm Matt, and this is an Audacity tutorial. And that's how you set up and use the chain function in Audacity. Be sure to export your clip to your favorite format, and you're all done. I really hope this video was helpful and was what you were looking for. If this video was helpful, again, please show your support by leaving a like. And if you think others might benefit from this video, please share it because it's my goal here to help you guys learn a little something new if you're new to this kind of stuff. If you guys have any questions or would like me to do another tutorial on something else in Audacity or for other things that we do for our channel, please let me know in the comments or hit us up again on our Twitter, at CoplayOfficial, and I would be happy to do that for you guys. I'm really enjoying making these tutorials and love helping you guys out in whatever way I can. And if you guys wouldn't mind taking a few minutes to check out our other videos on this channel, I would really appreciate that too because we put a lot of work into what we do and would love for more people to check out our work. Who knows, maybe you'll like our other content enough to subscribe. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video here on Coplay. Bye bye